There was a lady, she bought a parrot. She took him home and she put him in a cage. And right away the carrot started hollering, I'm handling a whore, I'm handling a whore, I'm handling a whore. <laughs> and the little lady was mortified. She didn't know what to do. So she took him to a Catholic priest. And she says, I hear you have a parrot. The priest says, yes, yeah. said my parrot, he stays in the cage and he prays all day long. All he ever do is pray. She says, well, I got a parrot and every time he opens his mouth, he's hollering, I'm handling a whore, I'm handling a whore. <laughs> So the priest said, you brought him to the right place. Put him in the cage with my parrot, and he will reform your parrot, and your parrot will be a good parrot. So he put him in the cage with his parrot, and the little old lady's parrot started hollering. I'm handling a whore, I'm handling a whore. And the priest's parrot says, come on in, baby. Hell, that's what I've been praying for. <laughs> husband, dear husband, I tremble with fear. You've been on the night shift for nearly one year. And since you are gone most of the night, a real good fucking is way out of sight. Husband, dear husband, now don't be a fool. You've worked on the night shift till you've ruined your tool. You better go hungry the rest of your life than to bring home a pecker so soft to your wife. <laughs> I was so happy as your little queen, but now at night you are never seen. And when you get home, you can hardly creep. While I feel like screwing, you go to sleep. <laughs> Each morning, dear husband, when you go to bed, your intentions are good, but your dick is dead. <laughs> They had an old colored guy down in Mississippi, you know, down there they call you nigger. So this nigger, he kissed a white broad. So the white man said, nigger, so you know you kiss my wife, don't you? Yes, sir, boss. So you know you kiss Miss Ann, you know your ass gonna be hung, don't you? Yes, sir, boss. So took the nigger out in the woods, gonna hang him, see. So he said, nigger, so you been with us a long time and say we're gonna give you a break. We're going to let you pick out the tree you want to be hung on. <laughs> Nigga running around there trying to find a tree to be hung on. All day long, like to walk them white folks to death, trying to find a tree to be hung on. <laughs> so pretty soon he came to a little bush, you know. He said, hey, boss. He said, yeah, nigga. Say, this the tree, I found it. Posse come ran up there, said, now, nigga, you know we can't hang your big black ass on that little bush. <laughs> He said, yes, yeah, sir, boss. He said, I know it. He said, but I'll wait till they grow up if it's all right with you. catch a man. She used every trick, honey, and that's a fact. Hell, that bitch couldn't catch no man, a damn tits was flat. Honey, the bitch had bow legs and thick hairy lips and great big off the wall elephant hips. Her ass was flat and her teeth was bucked. Hell, that bitch couldn't even find a dog to fuck. <laughs> they say it was all because of a big fat cop. Well, it was big, all right, honey. And every time she opened her split, it looked about like four tons of shit. <laughs> honey, she needed some dick, honey, and she needed urgent. She's the world's only 450-pound virgin. The doctor said, you better start fucking quick. Your big fat cherry is turning to shit. Bitch, you got the biggest cherry in town. Looks like that Jack in the Box clown. Always jumping up and down. Honey, 
you better fuck anything you find. Cause sex is about to blow your motherfucking mind. That's right. That's right, baby. The bitch looked at the doctor, honey, and winked her eye. And she said, you know, I'm a rich bitch, doc. Would you like to give it a try? The doctor shook his head in disgust, honey. He said, me fucking you wouldn't mean a thing. It would be like a mosquito pushing a train. For any man to fuck you, honey, he would have to have a soul blindfold. The bitch said, doctor, I don't think that's very nice. After all, I'm paying you for this fucked up advice. Now you talk like that to them other girls, but I'm damn near the richest bitch in the world. What you say might be true, honey. Not only are you the richest, you the funkiest too. <laughs> if any other woman in the world look like you, honey, just to call my name, she has to not only are you the richest, you the funkiest too. <laughs> if any other woman in the world look like you, honey, just to call my name, she has to give me a whole lot of money. <laughs> honey, she would have to buy me Cadillacs and diamond rings and wrestle alligators, honey, and fight lions and things. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to get you to see, you a lucky bitch just to talk to me. The bitch got so mad, honey, she blew her top. Her temper rose and her pussy got hot. Her pussy got so hot, her drawers caught fire, honey, and burned her thigh, and that ain't no lie. Honey, she slammed the door and left in a hurry, because what the doctor said made the bitch worry. Honey, she went to all the papers and took out her ad, trying to find her a good fucking dad. The ad read, honey, to any man who will fuck me or just get it in, I'll give him $10,000 and a new El Dorado. And if he gets it in and make me come, I give that son of a bitch double the original sum. Oh, she was a rich bitch. Honey, now this ad of hers went around the world. Not only did it tempt the men, hell, it got next to some of the girls. Motherfuckers and cocksuckers, bulldaggers and pimps, professional fuckers, honey, and men who were nymphs. Honey, when they read this ad, they jumped up and screamed. But now most didn't believe it because it seemed like a dream, all except cock eating Bill. <laughs> he called on the telephone child and caught the bitch at home. He said, if I get a chance to suck your cunt, bitch, I'll make you come for a solid damn month. <laughs> She say, cock sucking Bill, you fuck out of luck. Hell all, I ain't no freak to have my pussy suck. Hell all I want to do is live good and fuck. But there was another motherfucker on the bitch's case, honey, trying to catch the bitch for days and days. He had a hell of a reputation all across the land. Cause he was a mean motherfucker called Pipe Man Dan. <laughs> now Pipe Man Dan sent her a telegram saying I'm the world's greatest honey when it comes to fucking ma'am. My work I guarantee cause I know what fucking is all about. Hell I fucked the Statue of Liberty and made her jump and shot. <laughs> I fucked a whale, honey, and made it give. Fucked a dead woman and made that bitch live. And a few years back, when I was young, hell, I fucked a solid brick wall 
and made that motherfucker come. <laughs> You can search the world over, honey, air, land, and sea, and you can't find a motherfucker that can outfuck me. Hell, I can fuck in the ocean and won't even get wet. Fuck on top of the sun and won't even sweat. Now, you might not think what I'm saying is real, bitch, but my dick stays hard than United States steel. I can take it, honey, and bust an elephant's hide. Woo! Fuck night and day and never get tired. Hell, baby, I'm the greatest and I ain't shucking. Hell, presidents and kings hire me to do their fucking. And if you want me to start fucking you, honey, here's all you gotta do. Just call me on the telephone. And before you hang up, honey, I'll be at your home. Now she called him and just like he said, before she hung up, that some bitch was in her bed. He fucked up for a solid week, honey, and didn't even frown. And when he got off her, she had lost 300 pounds. Here's a fucking son of a bitch. 10 gallons of juice fell down at his feet. They fucked for a year and only stopped to piss, shit, and eat. Child, she became slim and trim and looked like a queen. Cause she had the fuckingest motherfucker that the world had ever seen. Oh, you a fucking motherfucker, baby. Woo! She gave him a million dollars, honey in cash and asked for his hand. Hey. And the bitch got married to Pipeland Dan. Hey. Well, she got so small, she hit on Dan. From now on, motherfucker, I want you to eat it. Oh. Yeah, that's what she told that son of a bitch. Want to eat it, honey. <laughs> he said, bitch, if that's what you want, hell, you might as well beat it. He said, you can give me the Chase Manhattan and I still wouldn't suck it. Cause I'm a pipe layer, baby. And all I'll ever do is fuck it. I'll fuck you till your wound turns inside out. Cause I think it's cool. But don't ask me to suck it, bitch. Cause hell, I ain't no damn fool. Her cock started jumping and twitching with laughter. And they live happily ever after. Big Fat Funky Susie Ann and Pipe Land Band.